Hi fam and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my second video. My first video was an apartment tour. If you haven't checked that out yet, please do check it out after watching this video. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created these line art paintings that I hung up above my bed. My style has become very minimal and simplistic, so I wanted to reflect that in my art, but then also I wanted to have something that makes a statement. And after looking at through some inspiration on Pinterest, I settled on some line art and uh, the female body in particular. So these are the paintings that I created. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. And I hope you enjoy. First things first, sketching my design in my notebook to use as a reference from which I will then transfer onto my larger piece of paper. I found that it's easier this way and it just makes the whole process a lot smoother. And the way that I've done this is then by drawing three equal columns, by drawing two lines downwards and four equal rows by drawing three lines across. And with that, then I can then draw my design and see where it's supposed to be what onto the larger piece of paper. So you're basically doing is going to draw from a small piece of paper to a large piece of paper by using grid lines as your reference. And it is as easy as that. So the next step would be to transfer my design from my book onto my A1 paper and I got these A1 size papers from PA and I think each of them cost me just under 15 Rand so I paid just under 30 Rand for both and what I'm first then going to do is the same grid lines that I drew in my book I just I'm going to draw them on a bigger scale so I divide my paper into three equal columns by drawing the two lines down and then four equal rows by drawing three lines across. From there, I then will transfer my design by just looking at where um, I have drawn on my notebook and then draw it on my larger piece of paper be sure to draw very lightly because you are going to make mistakes and you don't want to have to erase uh, deep lines so first draw really soft lines and from there you can then finish it off by then drawing much clearer now on to the second one and now on to the next part of the process, the painting. I got my art supplies from Builders Warehouse. So my paint brushes and all my other stuff that I'll be using for my next project. But then the paint I got is acrylic paint. So no more craft paint should work. And I will be using the black paint to paint over my pencil lines from my sketch and I wish you could actually see the pencil lines that I have made but the lighting was not so great but I am just using black paint and a medium sized brush to just paint over my line. And that is my first painting done. And now on to my second. The other amazing thing that I really love with acrylic paint is that it's fast drying. So especially on the kind of medium that you're working on, it dries really fast, which is a good thing, but can also be a bad thing, <laughs> depending on what you want to achieve. And I'm now drawing the second one. And I made a little bit of a boo-boo. 
um, I didn't like the bottom part of the butt <laughs> so I just got um, some white paint and covered um, the lines and then I just drew over them And that is the second design done going back to the first one and just erasing all the grid lines and all the leftover pencil marks and I will also then repeat the same process with the second picture um, after giving it a few minutes to dry Now I'm all done with the painting and I'll be transferring the painting into my photo frame and the latches are really tight so I recommend using something sharp like a scraper just to release the latches. I got the photo frames from Mr. Price Home and they are knocked over my water so I had to take a bit of a moment there to just clean up that mess and it went all over my carpet. Thank goodness the water wasn't like immensely colored. So I repeated the second framing of camera just to save a bit of time but I did the same thing as I did with the first painting. So the next part of the project was by far the most stressful because it required a high level of accuracy. But um, prior to the drilling, I just marked the four positions where my nails would go in and I drilled there. Another hack that my dad told me is to put a bag of masking with masking tape underneath the hole where you drill just to catch the dust and so clean up is much easier. So I had to give the photo frame a quick clean and reposition the painting and just secured it with masking tape and closed it back up and I hung the photos off camera but here you are here you can see they are hung above my bed and that is the final product thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed that I am thinking that I might change the frame color by spray painting it matte black but so far I like the grey because it's not too light and it still forms a bit of a contrast. But so far I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Up until the next time and the next year project. Bye!